Hi everyone, this is Tyler discussing how to create virtual assemblies in PolyWorks. Virtual assemblies are useful if you have scanned data of multiple parts and want to simulate how they might fit together. To do this, we'll need to create an inspector project for each part and a separate project for the assembly. Inside each part of project, we'll align the scan data to the CAD model. Any alignment scheme that you need can be used. In this example, I have a datum reference frame alignment to my mating plane. To get the part ready, I will simply activate the alignment I want to use and save the project. I will then go through each part and prepare them the same way creating the necessary alignment, activating it, and saving the project. The next step is to create the assembly. I'll create a new project for the assembly and we'll bring in each of the parts. Now, when I bring in the parts from the project, they will come in using the alignment scheme that the project was last saved with. So that is why it is very important that you have the correct alignment say, uh, activated when you save your parts. All right. Now that I have all my parts brought into my virtual assembly, I can create a clearance map to see if there's any interference between the parts. I'll make a clearance map by going under the Color Map tab and selecting Data Object Clearance in the bottom right. I'll press Measure as well in the dialog box to finish the, to finish the map. With the map completed, we can see that there is no interference between these parts. Positive numbers in the clearance map denote that there is clearance, while negative numbers denote interference. Do note that the alignment scheme used for each of the parts will heavily affect the outcome of your virtual assembly. If I had used a best fit alignment for each of these parts, I would more than likely get uh, some interference between them in my virtual assembly. I hope this shows you how to build a virtual assembly plus some of its functionality. I hope that you can then go forward and make uh, use of this on your own. Thanks. Bye.